I was looking in CEX, which is Ireland's second-hand game shop, and this stood out to me simply because I picked up the box and looked at the back. Here's a description for the game. Help our goofy family to save the world from a giant meteor by playing 50 minigames, simulating all different kinds of exciting professions. Only with the earned money you will be able to save the earth. Uh, these jobs uh, include babysitting, operating a crane, making pizza, milking cows, and being a dentist. Okay, Timmy, it's up to you to save the planet. Do something right with your life, I know you're only seven. NASA Space Research Center skirting around the copyright dispute. Sir, the meteor's orbit has it headed straight for Earth. This is tragic. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is pretty upsetting. Oh, no, this is gonna put a downer on Tuesday. Once word gets out, we're gonna have a global panic on our hands. Oh, the president's been alerted. So, okay, so what are we doing today? Well, Mr. President, starting at 9 a.m., you have 24 meetings. That's all well and good, but... No, no, this is the president. There's no way to discern them. What I meant was, how about joining me for a moonlit walk this evening? What's going on? Let's just focus on work today. What's... Phone's ringing. Well, if it isn't the head of NASA, what's gotten into you? Terrible news, Mr. President. The Earth is facing a meteor strike. Dude! <laughs> meteor? Did you hear that, Kate? We've got a real problem. <laughs> Hurry over to the picnic place and pick up a couple of lo- Yeah, because you know, when the meteor is about to wipe out civilization, that's what you do. What an idiot! Sir, there's something on the other side of the meteor. There is! But what could it be? Oh, dude, jeez! Wait, the meteor didn't hit you. What's going on? We've lost the only means we ever had to stop it. Probably won't be another soul on the planet to even see the meteor on its way to destroy us all. No one has a telescope. Let's go to the employment office for chapter one. Civilization's about to die, but it's okay. Once upon a time, in a certain town, there lived a happy family. The family's greatest pastime was buying stuff from the TV shopping network. Capitalism is everywhere, and there's nothing you can do to escape it. Enemies of humankind and attacks on the planet are getting you down. We've all been there, trust me. That's why you need this Transformer watch. It provides peace of mind even when you're up against powerful foes. This will let anyone transform into a giant superhero. Isn't it your turn to become the coolest hero around? We here at Stark Industries have just started selling weapons to the common people. Now you too can be Tony. Yeah, yeah, for the crazy stuff they sell sometimes. Do, are we doing the voices or not? Because people are divided. Do Elmo voice. Elmo knows where you live. Dude, that's a fucking big meteor. Yeah, this is like really upbeat music too. It's like, this is terrible. Yeah, whatever it is, it's headed straight for Earth. And something that size can wipe out the whole planet. Wipe out the whole planet. Nice try, Pops, but we don't scare that easily. It's literally just the size of fucking Jupiter that's about to collide. Has your mind been wandering again, Gramps? Oh, you senile old man. That movie we saw the other day sure put some strange ideas in your head. You gotta smash that meteor and save the... Gramps, I'm like 12, but you only have a week. How, how do you even know that, Gramps? How did you work this out? This is pretty heavy handed. <laughs> I know, that thing on the TV shopping network yesterday. Commercial advertising is gonna save the planet. We can turn into superheroes with the Transformer watch. And you better start working and saving up your money. If they have a product for sale on the TV shopping network, and there's a meteor colliding with the Earth, why isn't the government, like, d you know, like, seizing their product? Why do, like, two little kids have to save their pocket money to save the Earth? It's my old work uniform. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Now you can take on the bodybuilder job. Now you can take on the firefighter job. We're unlocking everything. Congratulations, you also can become a farmer now. You unlocked it, but wait, there's more. You're also got a disguise kit. 
Now you can work in Disneyland's haunted house and you're also a security guard. You did it. You've unlocked it. You've worked hard up until this point, but wait, there's even more, Timmy. Surely there is a better way to present this information. Fate of the world rests in your job skills, you know. So you better get the Domino's pizza because that's that's where we're gonna say that's how we're gonna save the planet. Reminder, you're going to die soon. Surely for some of these job lists, like you can't just like apply in this capacity, like. Yes, I'm looking for some contract work as a firefighter. The fuck is this game? Your guess is as good as mine. I, I, what, what is this? I don't like... I don't like how they're gyrating their hips. I don't like... It's not registering. It's not registering the controls. I only got paid 11 pounds. Apparently we're in the UK too, we're using pounds here. Developed by Hudson, distributed by Konami. Konami, the fuck? Oh, we've only got five days left to live now. Morning, Timmy, Maya, how did work go yesterday? Well, it was four identical men in, like, speedos and an audience that just watched us. And every ball we juggle, we get paid a pound. I mean, this is how it works on commission when you're in the circus. Basically, Guitar Hero, if you think about it, because it's just a rhythm game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 164 pounds. We're juggling some balls. It, it's really just gonna remind us every single day that we're about to die. How much is the watch again? We don't know. Why does sudden rush for a job and you save it up for some- Mom, there's a meteor! <laughs> Surely if it only costs like so much for the watch, it's like a week's worth of income. Like, you know, the scientists working in NASA can just buy it. Like as many pizzas as possible within the time limit. In case you don't know what a pizza looks like, we we'll put one here. Every time I press A, he just drops the pizza. I'm pressing A. A is the problem. Oh my god, you gotta press it at the particular... Okay. You gotta be really precise with that. That was actually awful. <laughs> oh, here's the meteor again. Grams, why don't you get a job too or contact the authorities? You know, it's inspiring really. This is a game that can relate to the modern man. You know, Joyce, Joyce wrote about how the modern man was like, like the... He the everyday hero of today's society. I think he inspired this game in part. Little Timmy is Leopold Bloom. He is the everyman. It's all a metaphor, guys. This game is actually a work of art. In the real world, Gramps would be in like the psychiatric hospital at this point, having terrorized his family for like a week about the non-existent uh, meteor. Like he saw Armageddon with Bruce Willis and he thinks the end is nigh. Press the two button and transform watches ours. I don't have enough points. What? <laughs> Why is every- it's all over the top as well. I need to get points. Yeah, the credit cards ran out. You're in points for everything you buy in the other three channels. A scary mask, I see. Is this gonna repel the meteor? He he he, I know. Spooky, right? Come on, you stinking meteor. Get out of here already. Ow. We did it, we pushed the meteor away. The, the Gramps has lost his mind. And he's just getting his children to do all his shopping on Amazon for him. Like, he's mooching money. His pen, like, he forgot to like contribute to his pension fund and he's just out of things. That's not right, let me see. That, that wasn't even the mask. How does a meteor go back? I'm sure he's happy today. But he'll be in. <laughs> A real pinch of the earth is destroyed. <laughs> Excellent observation, Timmy. You know, like, the dog might not be doing too well if the atmosphere suddenly evaporates. What are we gonna do with the dog if the meteor hits the planet? <laughs> this is gonna be bad, guys. So it's not a tall tale. Ha ha ha. It's for real. I ride my bike naked all over, all around. Dad, don't do that. I've already had to work as a bodybuilder, Dad. Like, I've had to make some, like, real sacrifices for this family already. 
please, for the love of God, keep your clothes on. What's going on now? Grr, rarf, rarf. What is it, Tam? A burglar? Get him! Tam bravely chased off Mustachio, the master thief. He ran off, Mustachio dropped. A pilfered, lovely apron. A pilfered B-movie video. <laughs> and an ill-gotten fancy shoes. What does any of that mean? Yeah, we're, we're quite literally just working in a sweatshop now. I, I, I did, this is just straight up child labor. They're having a good deal on support items. Here, take this. What you got for us, Granny? A new master scarf at a great price. You repaid her the 75 pound. Gran, we need that money. There's a meteor. <laughs> now we're just sending in like little Timmy to fight fires. Uh, he's not trained. He could die. This is incredibly dangerous. Like just take your child to work day. But then there's like, you, you work as a fireman. You don't do that. You just don't do it. It can... Can the firemen move? I'm trying to extinguish the blaze. There's like a delay on it as... It's not registering. It's... It... it, it I, 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 I'm doing the motion. Wahaha. <laughs> Need someone for a job right away. What do you say, hmm? I'll pay twice the usual wage. Offer a job, but you don't know what kind of work it is. Are you interested? As long as it's not carrots, it's okay. This shouldn't be in the game. This- this one just shouldn't be in the game. Well, we got paid double. Which isn't even a lot. We- we just need to be a clown. We just need to be a clown till the end of time. <laughs> oh god. This doesn't control well. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! We didn't make it. This is, the, this is why you don't outsource. Like, hospital work of all things. But like, Jesus, oh, it's too much work piling up. I've got an idea. Hire that little boy down the road. And, like, these scenarios keep happening. And, like, like, what are they? According to the predictions of the great seer Nostradamus, the media collision will occur one week earlier than expected. But the Earth can avoid this fate. If you- No! <laughs> oh, this game is fucked up. Oh, this game is twisted. Just make as much money. Like, who would have thought that, like, this of all jobs is the one that pays the most? Like, oh, I've already made more than, like, I did with the bodybuilder. Oh my god, we got 500 pounds for that. We're now a professional clown. Like, like, don't bother getting a doctor in medicine or anything. Just join the circus from an early age, and you'll be laughing in later life. You'll actually be able to stop the meteor that destroys the planet. Oh no, Gramps. I am in such a massive hurry. I have some urgent work that needs to be done. I'll pay three times. Gramps, I swear to God if this is bodybuilding again. <laughs> this man hates his grandkids. This man hates his family. He's invented this whole scenario with the meteor. He doesn't care about it. He just wants to buy as much shit as possible on Amazon. Uh, this isn't okay, Gramps. Okay, let's milk a cow. It's not registering again. It's not registering. We're sorry, Gramps, that humanity as a whole is about to come to an end. I guess I have no choice. I'm not happy about this, but I'm going to have to try out this super treat cheap transformer watch I bought on the street. It's super- oh, he's gonna save us, isn't he? There's no fail state. Gramps, you're behind you! Gramps deserves to die. I'll be taking half your money and points for building repair- What? And look here, I managed to hit the meteor into space for now, but it's already headed right back to us. You can try saving the Earth for real this time? 